Hey, what's up everybody? Retro Gaming Guy here. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to add Nintendo Wii U games into Botticera. So what we're going to need for this process is we're going to need a separate computer to actually download and extract our Wii U ROMs. We're also going to need a USB flash drive in order to transfer those ROMs from our regular PC over to our Botticera PC. And we're also going to need to connect a keyboard as well as a mouse to our Botticera PC in order to navigate our way through our file system. So let's jump into it and I'll show you exactly what you need to do. All right, so the first step in this process is to obviously locate and download some Wii U ROMs. I've gone ahead and done that. I have about 10 or 12 different ROMs here um, and I've done this over the course of two days because some of these are really large. You can see the size over here in this column, especially this Donkey Kong Country uh, Tropical Freeze. It's a massive ROM. This one took multiple hours to fully download this zipped file for. So um, some of these take a really long time. Some of them you can get fully downloaded in typically like a half an hour or so, but they're not quick by any means. So just make note of that if you're going and downloading, you know, a bunch of Wii U ROMs. Don't download a bunch at once because it just brings everything down to a crawl. I recommend doing just one or two at a time if you're going to let your PC kind of do its thing while you're out for the day or something like that. Then you can go ahead and select maybe like three or four of them. Um, let them just download into your downloads folder. And um, that's probably your best approach. That's what I did yesterday. And in that time I did about, looks like five of those yesterday. And it looks like another five or so today. So I'm gonna demo this process for you guys with two of these. And I'm gonna go with some of the smaller ones here. So I think I'll go with Mario Kart and uh, Donkey Kong Country is a big one there. So let's do Mario Tennis Ultra Smash as well. So first thing that we need to do here is we need to make sure that we have something like 7-Zip installed on our PC. So I like 7-Zip for unzipping ROMs and stuff like that. If you know of another software out there that you prefer over 7-Zip, feel free to use that. So since I have 7-Zip installed, I'm on Windows 11 right now. All I have to do is just click on the ROM, zipped ROM file that I want to extract, and then I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to jump over to show more options, and then 7-Zip populates into my list here. And all I have to do is go over to extract files or extract here, whichever one you want. If you hit extract files, you just have to confirm it with OK, and it's going to extract that. So this is a pretty small ROM, so it obviously extracted in just a matter of seconds there. And you can see it populating in here now up here. This is the unzipped version. This is the zipped version. Your zipped versions are always going to have that 7Z uh, ending to them. And we're going to go ahead and do Mario Kart as well. So again, just going to click on it to highlight it. Right click now, go to show more options, go up to 7-zip and hit extract files. Hit OK to confirm it. This one's a little bit larger. It's going to take a little bit longer, but still under 30 seconds here to fully extract. We're already um, at about 40% right now. So a couple more seconds, we'll have this fully extracted and we'll move on. So once this extracts, I'm going to move both of these unzipped ROM files over to a USB flash drive, which I'm going to put into my computer as soon as this completes right here. And I'm going to use this flash drive to then take these ROMs over to my Botticera build I'll plug that into my gaming PC once I load into Botticera, and then from there I can move them over directly into my Wii U ROMs folder in Botticera. So both of those have extracted. We have them listed right here. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm using a Samsung 128 gigabyte USB flash drive, and I recommend Samsung over SanDisk just because personal experience, I've used the same 128 gigabyte flash drive from Samsung for over two years now without any issues whatsoever. I was using SanDisk flash drives. They're much cheaper, but I was running through a bunch of them each year. So I've had this one for two years and it's just been super reliable. So link in the description of this video if you need to pick up one of those. They're not super cheap, but they're not super expensive and you're going to get a lot of use out of them and they're going to hold up for a long period of time. So over here, you can see Samsung flash drive right here, totally empty. That's what I'm going to be moving these unzipped ROMs over to. So I'll go back over to downloads and I'm just going to simply click both of these. I can do them at the same time. I'm just going to hold down my control button 
and click both of these so they're both highlighted. And I'm just going to drag them right over to my Samsung flash drive. Let it go. They're going to copy over on here. Now this is going to take a couple of minutes to fully copy over onto our flash drive. So we'll let it do its thing and we'll jump back in here once it's complete. All right, so we're at 99%. This should be done right here. Boom, complete. All right, so we'll double check this. I can see it already listed there, but opening up Samsung flash drive, everything is added in here. Both are Mario Tennis Ultra Smash as well as Mario Kart 8. So I'm going to X out of everything here. I'm going to now shut down my regular PC and we're going to, once it shuts down, remove the flash drive and boot up our Botticera build on whatever PC we're using for Botticera. And I'm actually using the exact same PC here. I'm just right now on my Windows 11 side. And then I just change the boot order when I want to boot up into my SSD, which has Botticera on it. So I'm going to power this one off and boot up Botticera now. All right, so we just booted up Botticera. So I'm going to connect a keyboard to my PC. Once I do, I'm going to hit F1 on my keyboard, which is going to open up our file system. So I've gone ahead and I've actually connected my Samsung flash drive to my PC. So you see on the left hand column here that the Samsung flash drive has populated in. And within it, we have those two Wii U ROM folders that we added in. So I'm going to highlight both of them like this. I'm going to right click and I'm going to click on copy. Now I'm going to go back over to the left hand column, click on ROMs, and I'm going to locate my Wii U folder in here. Here it is right here. I'll double click. And now anywhere in this open space, we're going to right click and click on paste. This is going to copy those two Wii U games over into our Wii U ROMs folder within Botticera. So it's going to take about a minute and a half. We'll let it do its thing. We'll come back here once it's been completed. All right, so both of those games copied over to our Wii U ROMs folder. And if we just exit back out to our main ROMs page, we can go back into Wii U just to make sure that those added in correctly. And they did. So we're going to go up here to file. We're going to close our window and get out of our file system. Now we're back in Botticera. If we scroll through our collections here, we're not going to find Wii U yet because we need to update our system. So we're going to go into our main menu. If you're just using your keyboard, hit the space bar. If you are using a gamepad controller, hit your start button. That opens up main menu. We'll drop down to game settings and select it. And top option there is update games lists under tools. We'll go ahead and select that and we'll confirm it with yes. That's going to update everything. And now if we scroll through our collections, we'll find Wii U. So I'm using the art flicks theme for Botticera. So it populates in this cool graphic right here. So now we can jump into this collection and you're gonna notice right off the bat that it doesn't populate in the titles for our games here. So it's gonna label them kind of whatever it wants. We have main here and we have turbo, and it's also added in a duplicate in here as well. So you'll notice that there's two of each title. And this is part of why I always say, add just a couple games at once, just so you don't have to deal with all of this at once. If you added in 20 games on here, it would first off take a really long time, but you're going to have duplicates of all of those too. And we need to clear that up. It's one of those quirky sort of things with our files for our ROMs in here where it populates them in twice. So right here, I'm highlighting main. And it's a little bit hard to see which one I'm highlighting here. So you've got to be super careful. You don't want to delete the wrong one. So the first one for each title that you add in is always going to be the game that works. The duplicate is never going to actually launch into the game. If I were to jump into this duplicate right here, it would try to load the game up, fail, and kick me right back out to the screen that you see right now. So here's the main one. Ironically, it's named main one, but here is the duplicate. So we're going to make sure that we're hovering over the duplicate one. And if you are using your gamepad controller and it's set up like a PlayStation style, you're going to hold down X. If you're using a gamepad controller that's like a Super Nintendo in terms of buttons and labeling, you're going to hold down B. If you're using your keyboard, you're going to hold down your enter button. And that's going to pull up this options page for this specific title here. And we're going to drop down to delete game. We're going to select that. And now we're going to confirm it with yes. And it's going to delete that particular one. So now what we need to do is we need to go into our main menu, space bar if you're on your keyboard, start if you're on your gamepad controller, go down to game settings, update games lists, confirm it with yes, and now you can see we only have that one 
main labeled game in here. We don't have the duplicate, but if we go down to the other one that we didn't remove the duplicate for, we see that there's two of these. So there's Turbo 1 and the duplicate right below it. So we want to go to that duplicate one, the second one, and we're going to do the same thing again. I'm on a keyboard, so I'm going to hold down my enter button. It's going to pull up our options. We're going to drop down to delete game, and we're going to confirm it with yes. And now open up our main menu, game settings, update games lists, confirm it with yes. And now you can see we only have one of each. So we go main, turbo, main, turbo, and it's just going to continue that because we only have two games in the entire collection. So now I want to scrape. I don't want to choose games off of this because in all honesty, I don't know which is which on here. It didn't add the game names in pro properly, so I don't know what's what. So I want to scrape this. So I'm going to give you guys a crash course on how to scrape on here, but I do recommend checking out my video on how to set up Screen Scraper. If you don't have Screen Scraper already set up on Botticera, it is by far the most effective and easiest way to scrape your games. So we're going to open up main menu here. We're going to drop down to scrape and select that. You need to be connected to Wi-Fi in order to do this. And if you haven't yet set up Screen Scraper again, drop down to the description of this video, click the link, and I have a full tutorial video that walks you through the entire setup process. And it'll save in here like it has for me. You'll never have to go in here and mess with it again. So I'm gonna drop it down since it's already set up and ready to go here, and I'm gonna just hit Scrape Now. I'll hit that option. It's going to only scrape in this individual collection, and it's only going to scrape whatever is missing. In this case, everything is missing. So we're going to drop down to start and hit start. You're going to see it's scraping one of two titles up there in the top right corner. Once it's complete, it's going to let us know across the top of our page. And it says now scraping finish, update games list to apply changes. So we're going to back out of this page. We're going to go up to game settings, select it under tools, update games lists, confirm it with yes. And now you have everything scraped on here. So we have video preview down there in the bottom left corner. We have a little description here. Everything's looking really nice. So now let's test out our game. I'm going to plug in my PlayStation style controller here and I want to jump into Mario Tennis Ultra Smash. So I don't have to do any custom mapping. Everything is perfect down here. No lags, no delays, just absolutely perfect. All right, so in order to exit games, hotkey, whatever you have set up and configured as your hotkey function, for me, it's start and select. I hit both of those together and I'm back out to my Wii U menu. All right, guys, you can see from this video, it's a fairly straightforward process. It's a little bit time consuming because of how large these ROMs actually are. Uh, the initial download takes the most time, extractions and transfers and copying of the ROMs uh, from the flash drive, then over to Bodicera itself and all of that. It's a little time consuming as well, but the majority of your time is gonna be spent just kind of waiting for those ROMs to initially download. So. That is gonna do it for this video though. If you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to hit me up in the comment section below. Always happy to help you guys out any way that I possibly can. You guys know the drill though. Go ahead and smash the thumbs up button on the video if you found this information helpful to you. And of course, hit that subscribe button to stay in the loop for all future videos here on the Retro Gaming Guy YouTube channel. That's gonna do it for today. Thank you guys so much for the support. I'll see you on the next video.